Thanks, man. Hey, How are you? Later. Pleased by your reception in Nashville? Awesome, huh? That was great. So, uh, I, you know, that's, when, you, when you come to a market like this, you see so many great fans that are passionate about sports and they 100% get behind a team and, and that was a was such a great feeling knowing that you're going to come to a city that, that, that represents their team like that and supports their team like that. So this to me was just a, an extension of what I already knew was here and like I said I haven't been here that much but when I have been here it's easy to recognize that and see that, that the fans really, they really love their team. So you that was great. You mentioned how you talked to your wife this morning about trying to hit the right tone. What message did you try to hit out there exactly? Well, I wasn't really trying to hit really any message. I was just answering a question on you know what, whether or not the, you know, the Stanley Cup is <laughs> in the future. No pressure. Uh, I, I think all teams, you know, all 30 teams, I would hope that they would enter the season with the expectation of making the playoffs, competing for the Stanley Cup, and winning the Stanley Cup. So our expectation is want to be successful here. Uh, the first step of that is the regular season to, to do the best that you can, win as many games as you can, and give yourself that opportunity to go and compete for the Cup. And once you get into playoffs, I, I know from experience that any team has a chance, anything can happen, and that's what you're fighting for in the regular season. So we get to get after it when training camp breaks this fall, uh, get the team on the ice, and, uh, and get going towards that journey. You mentioned how you scouted yeah. Yeah. going into the uh, yeah. Olympics. Yeah. What, what did you learn coaching against that you maybe didn't see, you know, scouting or, or coaching against the when you coach I, them I, I think you always, I think you always learn a little bit more about a player when you get to coach them. One, because you get to have meetings with them, you get to talk to them, and um, just about the game or a situation or the next day or whatever it might be. So right away you get to, you get a, you get a better feeling and a better understanding of a player once you get to, to work with them from a coach-player relationship. From, a, from an on-ice performance, you get to realize how valuable a guy like Seth is that can play 25 plus minutes and play him very well against other teams, the best players that we used him in that role over there. That was a, a shutdown pair and a shutdown defenseman that we used to uh, put out against the best players that the opponent had to offer that night. And, uh, he thrived in that in that role and in that environment. He did a he did a terrific job and had a great tournament. A lot's been made of the immediate impact that most you brought when you've gone to a new team. You can immediately kind of jump on the points. Why do you think you've been able to do that? I don't uh, I don't I don't have an, an answer. I, I mean I I, I plan on coming in. I'm excited to be here. I've come here with a lot of energy but really hard to, to try and, and, and get our team to play with uh, an identity that I think will be successful on the ice. And, you know, we've got great players here. There's a lot of good pieces in, uh, in place. There was a lot of good work that was done here from the coach before me. And uh, I'm excited to come in here and, try and, and do whatever I can to help, like I said, get these guys back to the league. These fans cheered every time you said the word offense. Um, yeah. That's a part of your desire to try to stimulate this. Well, I mean, it just, it just, like I said, I, you know, without pulling out a chalkboard here and, and drawing things on the chalkboard, I, I think every coach has a belief on how the game should be played and whether it should be played moving hard forward or, or layering defensively or, or, or defending from a defensive point of view and looking for a counter game as well. and, and, they're, and they've, all won, they've all been successful. It's just a belief uh, you know, we're going to come in here and try to establish that identity in, in training camp and uh, training camp will be a really important tool for us uh, because in, in my experience of when you do go into an organization and you try to, and I have anyway, and I've tried to things in a direction um, there's a there's a look there's a little bit of a feeling old process and the, the getting used to it process and uh, eventually it gets there and, and like, like, like you said it, it has shown results so it gives me confidence as a coach to come in here and try to do that again that being said this has sort of a, been a franchise known about defense and kind of pressuring teams defensively kind of interesting just to see the reaction to your offense your offensive philosophy and just in general with the base and your first interaction with them? Well, you know, like I said, it's, it's the summer right now and I, I don't want to get too worried.
wordy here with what, what, what's going on. And we got a lot of work to do, and uh, it changes at times and be subtle. Maybe maybe a guy moving up the ice a little bit or giving somebody the free reign to do something else. And uh, but like I said, through, through my experiences there uh, and, and time, you're able to make those changes and. and I think that the players start to realize that, and they see that, and you get over that that hump where there's that pause and that delay on where, if I should go or if I should go and where I should be. And, and, but that probably happens with a lot of coaches, depending on no matter what style you're playing. It might be a delay or a pause where once they understand it, I think they really start to, to, to get it on the ice and they start to click. And that's when that's when you know things are taking place. I'm, I'm excited to work with all those players that you mentioned, and yeah, I do see offensive potential in, uh, in a lot of them. A lot of the forwards, there's a good mix and a good makeup of different personnel. Uh, you know, there's a lot of character here, a lot of work ethic here. So there's a, there's a good goaltending situation here. Uh, defensemen, forwards. I said the grit and the character and the pressure are all pretty good here, so I'm excited to get into work with all of it in all aspects. Training camp, 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 camp. When you've got a young defense like you do that's so good with Seth and the shape, you've got a goaltender like Beck, it doesn't allow you philosophically to be a lot more aggressive even offensively because you know you've got that back there? You know, I've... Uh, cert certainly, I think that that helps. You know, the, where, where you know you've got a goaltender like Pekka, and you know you've got a, a solid defensive unit. I think that helps. Uh, I, I, I think from from a coaching point of view, uh, I'm going to come in the same way. I'm going to come in and try to deliver. You know what I have in the past, and and, uh, and do my best to work at that and bring that onto the ice. Do you feel like it's something that can happen? I hope so. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take too long. So, uh, but like I said, we we got a lot of work to do. I don't want to I don't want to make too much out of this. Like uh, lots of questions, and I understand that. But we got a lot of work to do as a team on the ice. And it'll start with day one in training camp, and we'll work at it. And we'll go to day two, and soon we'll get to some exhibition games, and we'll work at it. We had the regular season, and we'll continue to work at it. And I can only tell you that. From, from teams in the past, it eventually takes hold, and, and uh, you, know, that, you, you can see that transformation. You're known as a coach that's really good at uh, developing kind of younger forwards. This team has Forsberg, it has Yarn Krug. I'm sure you saw Yarn Krug a little bit at the World Championships, but what do you sort of know about those two guys? Obviously, they're two very big parts of this team. Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be learning a lot about a lot of the players, just like they'll be learning about me, and I think the expectations for me and my expectations from them. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I think having young players on your team in the NHL nowadays is almost a must. It's almost mandatory. Their youth and their enthusiasm and their speed, and I mentioned up there that they come in at a, at a higher level now of fitness and preparedness to go out and, and compete in the National Hockey League and play in the National Hockey League. So to bring in the youth, I think, is... Uh, absolutely necessary at the NHL level now, so uh, we've got great veterans to go along with that, and we've got uh, some really good pieces in place, so I'm, again, I'm looking forward to working with all the pieces and all of the players that are in place. You mentioned you talked to, you mentioned you talked to Weber and some of the other guys, are they just introductory phone calls, or are you just, getting deeper? They're, they're just introductory phone calls, I'm, you know, it's hard to, for me anyway, I, I always like to, to do things, if I'm going to talk to somebody, and if it's a team, it's a team, but if it's somebody, it's more individual and face to face, it's hard to do things over the phone. And uh, I just wanted to reach out to these guys, and really just establish some contact and, and to start a relationship. What originally attracted you to this? Um, you know, I, uh, this, this is a this is a franchise that has a very stable uh, ownership group, a very stable general manager. They've got terrific pieces in place. Like I said, there's. Not one person has called me up and said, what, what do you think of going to Nashville? It's a terrible place to live. So from a, from a personal and a family point of view, there's lots of positives as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a great spot and very fortunate. Are you behind any after the World Championships? No, I, you know, I, I actually think that the, the World Championships really worked as an advantage for me. Uh, 
to get to work with two of our players like I did and, and to watch them on the ice to get to work with the staff, to work with David, um, to work with uh, Lawrence and, and Phil. Um, I view that as a tremendous advantage. It, it takes some of the newness um, away from training camp where I, I've already got relationships now with these guys and I continue to build those relationships. You know, there's teams in the National Hockey League right now that And so I, I feel like we've had things in place that the people that are here working in the national organization, the management, the scouts, the, the, the personnel that's involved, they've, they've done a lot of work to this point to make sure that we're, we're going down the right road. And that will continue on through the course of the summer. Uh, but I view the World Championships as a positive. I've got to work with a lot of personnel.